Hello guys. Uh, we see it's online. Uh, we see it's online. So let's begin with the uh, webinar for today. And uh, according to the subject, price action analysis, it's kind of very interesting uh, technical analysis because uh, I usually myself personally, I don't believe in uh, uh, what will I say, uh, technical indicators. And uh, I don't believe in technical indicators because why I don't believe in technical indicators is just simple. Uh, they always rehat after the price. So that is the reason why I decided uh, to do this webinar today based on price action analysis. So I will just take more two or three pairs and I will give you the uh, technical analysis and uh, show you what the price action, how you need to look at uh, the currency pairs based on price action, pure price action. Because when you use price action to do your technical analysis, I will tell you it will be successful because I'll be trying it for a few weeks, few months, a few months right now. I'll say one year because I started, I started, uh, what's it called? Uh, putting my heart and my passion to learn uh, price action analysis. And I will say that I'm 80% there at the moment. So if I will see currency pairs, I can tell you if uh, what will be the reaction when the price get to some resistant level and to the support level so we start uh, seeing a lot of what let me jump and uh, show you some currency pairs first you can uh, let, let's check it on our online online websites uh, okay no i'll just put it like this so let me take example Euro US there. The, uh, this is a uh, Euro USD currency pairs, and uh, let's do the uh, technical analysis based on price action. Don't forget to. Uh, I usually use price action and uh, moving averages. Why I use moving averages is simple. They give me the overall trend on the market. I use the fifty and uh, the two hundred. A period moving average simple moving average or uh, uh, exponential moving average depends so what I first do I will put my simple moving average first I will put the 200 period moving average uh, yeah so let me make it to be red that's the 200 period moving average I had it to the charts then I will add again 50 period moving average why am I putting 50 period moving average you you might be asking oh uh, you can easily use your own uh, co coordinate in terms of a uh, moving average. You can use seven days, you can use whatever it suits you, but I'm using 50 because it best shows me the shorter trend. The 200 period moving average shows me the longer uh, trend of the market. When the uh, 50 shows me the uh, short trend in the market, you can say, okay, yeah, uh, seven days, 21 days, still show you the uh, short trend uh, in the market, which is also, uh, absolutely correct. But uh, I base my technical analysis on the one hour because I'm practicing what they call day trading, short term trading, not swing trade, but short term trading, be in the market at that day and get out from the market at that same day. So practicing day trading, that is the most reason why I'm using 50 days because 50 days simple moving average should, gives you more of the trend for that particular uh, day. Or for that particular period okay yeah so we have the moving average guys if you have any question feel free to uh, write it on the charts and I will answer you ah yeah I believe I already start showing the normal one now so first what uh, uh, do uh, I usually look at when I want to uh, use price action to uh, determine where I will be taking a buy or a sell? First of all, I told you already before the moving average. 
So at this point in time, I already see that the trend is an uptrend. Or I would say this is a bullish market. Why I said this is a bullish market, we can see this price has been traded bullish uh, since 14th of May. Uh, yeah, 18th of May. The price has been moving bullish. That is number one. And you can see the last few days, last few days of May, and continue uh, the first few, the first week. Today is the end of the first week, working week of uh, June. We can see that it's kind of a strong bullish momentum. That is uh, uh, the Euro USD. It is. So this already gives me the understanding that what am I looking at? I'm looking at a bullish market at this particular point in time because if you look at the structure, you already uh, the price already broke the structure easily. I'll take this thing here. So if you look at the structure, you already see that the price already broke the structure so easily. Uh, it broke this previous higher highs and the most last significant higher highs is at this zone, March 30th uh, high level and the price broke it. So we have a pure bullish move in the market right now. So what would I be looking at based on price action? I would not want to be selling this particular currency pair, the Euro USD at any point in time. Why I don't want to sell it? Because look at the past few days. This is a strong bullish momentum. So you don't want to trade against the trend. The trend already shows the for the uh, 50 or 200, the long term trend shows you that the price is a bullish momentum and is in, the current price is far away from the moving average. So that's to show you that this particular currency pair, we have a long run in terms of bullish momentum. So what you will be looking at? You're looking at a pullback and you buy the market. This is what you will be looking at based on the current price action. So first, I already determined is a bullish market. The last day, which is yesterday, let me just take it. Yesterday was 4th of June. Shows me a very strong bullish move. What will I do first? This was yesterday highs. I put it there. So I already know the previous day high. And uh, I will take uh, my price line. I put it there. This is the previous day low. So I already know the highs of the previous day and the low of the previous day. So what will I be looking at? I go to four hours time frame. So on my four hours time frame, I can still show you. Yeah, as you can see on the four hours time frame, it's still showing way bullish momentum. Like the price is moving bullish. You can see yesterday's highs. This was yesterday highs and uh, there was a first breakout. It pierced it this uh, morning and boom, it, bright, uh, it bounced back. So on the four hours time frame, what will I do again? I take back my price level. I hit it at this close of this candle. No, let me put it at a week. So this is the week. So right now, this price is currently close to the four hour support level. What will I do? I look at the next significant uh, 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 higher low. So I take the price, uh, uh, let me take back my price level. I take back my price level and I hit it at this particular point. So what am I looking at? I'm looking at a level at 1.13 uh, to 1.12. That is the level on the four hours time frame. So. You might ask yourself, okay, with, uh, wisdom, this price is kind of going uh, bullish. Uh, I cannot, I will advise you, you cannot buy even at this point in time because why? The price is testing the support. It might just reverse at this particular uh, candle. Let me take, it might just reverse at this particular candle or it will make a false uh, uh, pullback and continue its move to the upside. So you cannot uh, just decide, hey, you know what? Uh, the price is at this uh, support. Uh, it already pierced this uh, support level, the four hour support. I want to uh, uh, sell the market. You don't have to do that because the price has not shows you that it's going to fall. However, this is kind of a pure bullish candle. You can decide to say, okay, you know, I will not start waiting for this price to hit the 1.12 before i uh buy this market i want to trade uh against the trade it is fine 
you can trade against this particular euro usd trend at this point in time but you will go to the smaller time frame not the higher time frame so you already see on the four hours time frame the price bridged the support level that's to show that if this candle close below yeah if this uh, four hours candle close below somewhere this region as it's coming right now it close below somewhere this region and it pull back then you can say okay let me short to have this clean move this clean candle move which you are seeing to the downside it is possible you can do that but uh four hours is a very long time so you need to use the uh smaller time frame to uh predict what we happened so you go back to the that is where uh, I, you look at the one hour time frame but you take or you make decision with the 30 minutes time frame this is how it works so right now i already see the price is breaking this support level which is very good but it's not going to be brainer for you to oh the price already bridged this four hours i want to sell the market no you don't have to do that go to uh a one hour time frame the one hour time frame all the trend even from the daily the four hours time frame they are telling you it is bullish so the one hour time frame is uh the daily time frame is bullish the uh four hours time frame bullish even the weekly time frame if you go check it is still bullish because it already broke structure so right now the one hour time frame shows us that this price is kind of bullish so you don't want to go and uh, take a position against the trend so what will it do uh first of all you need the price to break structure before you short this market if at all you want to short this market but at this point in time on the one hour time frame i already see look at this last candle it pierced this uh of uh, four hour support level which i was telling you before this was the four hour support it pierced the four hour support and it hangs with a bullish uh candle but there, there was a bearish rejection there so this we are in the current hour right now you will not you will not say oh you know what the price already broke it. it has not broken this four hour support so you don't want to sell when the price is testing the higher time frame support level you don't want to say this is what they call price action so you don't want to say at this point you don't want to be caught in in this trade at this particular point because this is these are four hour support level region zone so you don't want to say at this particular zone what you, will you do either you wait for the price to have a clean break wait for the price to have a clean break from this zone it already it have a clean break and already form a resistance and you see a resistance and it's already showing you that yeah there's going to be a bearish move to downward then you can short at this point in time you don't need to short because even when all the time frame is telling you that this price is bullish market you can easily still show this market but you need to let the price break structure at this point in time the price has not breaking structure and the four hours time frame is still holding very strong so what will you do you wait this is why it's a waiting game wait for the price to break from this zone uh it's then it makes a pullback when it makes a pullback then uh from this pullback from this region it will start showing you a resistance when you already see kind of a uh, maybe a dodgy candle or a, a bullish rejection candles is already showing you a resistance there that say yeah, this region is a resistance what will you do you can short and have a clean ride because this candle is a strong bullish move to the upside this is going to be a clean ride to the downside to this point in time so this is how it's going to be then before it comes back to this zone uh i'll put it here so your first zone of taking profit is going to be at this point because this is kind of a pure bullish candle to the upside then it's going to be a clean candle coming to the downside if you want to trade the price based on price action but sometimes one hour time frame uh can be more deceiving in order for you to know if there's a breakout or something like that so what will you do i usually use 30 minutes as my decision making and take a position so i go to the 30 minutes you see what i was telling you before even from the daily time frame up to the four hours time frame and at this current moment the one hour and the 30 minutes you don't want to be caught up in this position 
for the last uh, one hour 30 minutes the price has been consolidating uh, uh, in, yeah has been consolidating between that 1.1320 region this is how this price is consolidating you don't want to uh, what's it called be caught in this point in time so that's the reason why you need the price to break structure in order for you to either go long or go short and if you're asking me okay wisdom uh, at this point in time i don't want to go short but where will i enter this uh trade since uh everything is showing me that is bullish i have two cases if i want to trade this particular pair the euro usd i will wait i already told you before on the 30 minutes time frame i will wait for the price to break this four hour support and i need the price to be below this uh, 50 period moving average this 50 period moving average i need price to be below this right now we have the price above then the price is coming it broke the 50 period moving average somewhere this zone it, re it went to retest and form resistance then i want to short at that point in time when i short i want to target 1.1268 then maybe uh, the next ride uh 1.1236 that's if I want to short, uh, if I want to sell the Euro USD. If I want to buy the Euro USD, what will I do? Still the same. I take away this. Uh, okay, let me pull back the support. I go back to my uh, higher time frame again. My higher time frame. I already see yesterday's uh, yesterday's uh, resistance level at one point thirteen sixty one. What will I do? I want to man that zone. Yeah, this is uh, yesterday uh, resistance, so I put it somewhere in this region. That's my yesterday resistance. So I go to the four hours. Trading price action is more easy rather than using technical indicators. Uh, this is a fact. So on the four hours, I see that the price wanted to bro break uh, that yesterday previous resistance level, but there was a strong rejection downward, and it, the four hours candle closed with bearish. So for the last four, eight, 12, 16, uh, and sixteen plus twenty hours, yeah, for the last twenty hours, uh, this price has been trading below the one point thirteen sixty one. This is how the price has been trading for the last 20 hours. So if I want to buy, maybe at the end of the day, this price did not come to, uh, the bearish move did not come to fill up this strong bullish momentum. Maybe I want to buy. I already see the resistance. So what would I, what would I be looking for? A clean break. I will need to buy on a clean break. I will need to buy when the price is above the 1.31 uh, 61 then i will know that okay you know what uh the price already uh broke that level the level is already uh the it's already invalidates yesterday highs so it more or less there's going to be a new highs and you want to take profit close to the next psychological or the market uh psychological level somewhere that region before the 1.14 you want to take profit so this is the four hours time frame then you go back to one hour time frame again you look at uh, the currency pair you say okay yeah this is how it is so you are waiting for this if you want to be uh if you want to be uh, ag uh aggressive you just wait for the next two or three candles you might want to be aggressive uh you wait for the next maybe the price on this four hours uh support level is holding very good and you want to be aggressive you wait for the price to break it makes move the next three or yeah this is one hour the next two hours is showing bullish or even the next two hours is showing bullish then you can easily buy this market on the hope that it's going to break this resistant level at the one point and you target this region this is how you're going to do it here you wait for the next two candle but if you want to be conservative in what you are trading you don't uh what's it called you don't want to risk a lot of money in your account and something like that the best thing for you to do is for you to wait for a clean break the price already shows that yeah it already broke this place if the next candle maybe the price return back 
maybe when the price return back maybe to return back somewhere in this region and it retest because he didn't retest that zone you can easily buy and uh, to target the psychological level of 1.14 close to that region this is how you're going to trade but at this particular point in time my advice to any traders is for you to wait because if you enter this uh if you enter this particular trade at this point in time it might go either direction it might go for you it might go against you so that's the reason why you have to wait you cannot wait forever but you have to wait either for the price to break this support level if i want to take this trade at this point in time what will i do i will not look for a buy my only time to look for a buy is when the price is above the 1 uh, 1.1360 that's when i will be looking for a buy buy stop is going to be here we are want to be i want to be selling this price uh, this currency pair uh during the next few hours because the price already test the four hours time frame uh support level first time the second time it pierced it so this low was uh is this one was lower than this this was higher low this one is the uh last low levels so i want to see this candle close below yeah i want to see this candle close at this zone yeah somewhere this zone i want to see the candle close somewhere this zone then i will take it i will ride this green candle this bullish candle to the downside this is there's no if guys just take it if the price break this region right now if it breaks this zone uh yeah think about my right angle yeah if it breaks this zone all right there's no longer support once it breaks that region that four hour support there's no longer support even for the one hour time frame up till it gets to this uh next support and uh, this is kind of a good clean movement from this zone to this zone is how many 42 pips that's what you will get so this is how you trade price action it's kind of very easy to trade price action you just need to know the trend in the market you know the previous day high and you need to know if the previous days week or days is kind of a bullish or bearish you need to define them yourself to know what you are doing so the easiest way sometimes you draw channels if we are writing this technical analysis we draw channel or sometimes you just use moving average this is the one hour time frame he's telling me on this one hour time frame the trend is bullish and you can see even my target is close to the 50 hours uh, yeah 50 hours simple moving average support level it's kind of beautiful to trace price action it's very easy to trade price action because you come oh i want to use that my journey i want to use my d blah 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 it is fine you can use those things but sometimes based on my experience five years in terms of looking at the chart and everything the price already passed before technical indicators start showing some stuff so sometimes you need to look the naked chart based on the price action you spot the resistance you spot the support because just take a look right now if this price breaks this support on the one hour time frame there's no longer support if you are trading with one hour time frame there's no longer support thing gets to there you don't need any technical indicators to tell you this or that you already see if you are trading with 30 minutes time frame depend on which time frame you are trading 30 minutes time frame you look and look there's no uh uh support on even the 30 minutes time frame and a clean candle up is going to be a clean candle downward this is how it's going to be so guys this is the price action technical analysis i believe that uh you guys are listening because no questions and um in the absence of no question I will call it a day happy weekend stay safe don't forget to give us a thumbs up like the channel and see you next week for maybe next week i might still be doing price action technical analysis too in order for me to teach for mostly those new trader uh technical uh price action because i'm using it myself i'm using price action myself and if i showed you my back testing on the price action it's always boom so far i would say 80 percent 80 percent based on the price action you need to wait for the structure to break you need to wait for support significant support to break 
You might call it the breaker trade. Depends on whatever you want to call it. It might be the breaker trade, whatever you want to call it, but it's kind of very good. So guys, stay safe. Happy weekend and see you uh, next week. Bye-bye.